So this question is a translate word problem question. We know that because of the length of the question itself. So all I want to do is make sure I'm writing down any quantitative information as I read instead of trying to read it all the way through and assume that I'll remember everything that I read. So the question says a company purchased a machine valued at $120,000. All right, so I'm going to write down machine equals 120 Next sentence says the value of the machine depreciates by the same amount each year so that after 10 years, the value will be $30,000. All right. So I'm going to say each of these arrows represents a year. So it's going down the exact same amount. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And at the end of that 10, it is worth 30000 Right. So it dropped by a total of 90,000. Right, so here's like the reading in between the lines. When you translate, you are allowed to kind of do this. Like, well, if I'm going from 120 to 30, that means it decreased a total of $90,000. And if the question says it depreciates by the same amount each year, then I know that, hey, 10 of these arrows, so it must be 9,000 per year, right? Each of these years, it went down by $9,000. That's the only way for me to get to $90,000 for those 10 years. All right, so let's keep reading. Which of the following equations gives the value V of the machine in dollars T years after it was purchased? And again, um, T has to be between 0 and 10. Perfect. Well, I kind of know the answer to this because I know that, first of all, the value when it was first purchased is $120,000. And I know that I'm subtracting from that value because it depreciates $9,000 per year and T represents years, right? So this equation would help me to figure out, well, what is the value if I was only looking at the, its value at the end of two years or three years or four years or five years? I know what's gonna happen at 10 years, right? But if, what if I wanted to know what was happening at e any of these stages? This equation would give that to me. So the answer, therefore, must be choice B.